who's the X factor for Dallas down the stretch? I think it's Ezekiel Elliott. Um, I think that, listen, the Dallas Cowboys were built to run the football. The offensive line, the money that you invested in them, and the money you invested in Ezekiel Elliott, you give him 12 carries on Thanksgiving night, eight of those carries came in the first quarter for 56 yards. He was averaging seven yards a carry in the first quarter. And your $50 million guaranteed man, $90 million man overall as a running back, former, as Max would say, the former fourth overall pick in the NFL draft. This is the guy you built your offense around. And you give him four carries over the next three quarters? If that ain't grounds for Jason Garrett's immediate dismissal, I don't know what is. That might be the dumbest thing that I could have possibly fathomed. It doesn't matter how much Dak Prescott throws the football. It does not matter how great Amari Cooper looks, how great Gallup looks, Jason Witten and his reemergence from retirement and beyond. If you cannot run the football effectively as a Dallas Cowboy, you will not win. You will not win when it really, really counts. That's and to me, the fact that you didn't even attempt to give Ezekiel Elliott the football <clears throat> tells me all I need to know. But that's really on coach. Yeah. You know, like, I, when I think of X Factor, the last guy I think of is Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah. Because Ezekiel Elliott, there's no X, there's no unknown there. We know what he is. There are better backs, I believe, in football, but if you want to change it to um, all-around most consistent back, mm -hmm. he's going to give you four and a half yards of carry. He does everything well, pass, protect, like everything. He's just an all-around excellent football player and among the best backs in the NFL, and that's game in and game out, year in and year out. He seems to be in the middle of a Hall of Fame career. I don't think of that as an X factor. I think of Dak Prescott as an X factor because what is Dak? Much as I said earlier in the show, it, it, like the proof that Kirk Cousins, um, you know, deserves some blame after a, a, a night like last night or shows he's not ready for prime time. And one of the pieces of evidence I use is just imagine Kirk Cousins was Russell Wilson. Would you still be saying the Vikings are a tough out or would you be maybe picking them to win the Super Bowl? It's the same sort of thing with Dak. Like, is, who is Dak Prescott? That's your X factor. Some weeks, usually against bad teams, he looks like an, a great quarterback in his prime. And other weeks you go, you can't rely on Dak Prescott to take you there. He needs a whole lot around him. That, to me, is an X factor. Max, in any other situation, I would agree with you. But in this particular situation, I'm with Stephen A. Zeke is the X factor because they haven't been using him. That's the point. The point is that they've made Zeke an X factor outside of him being the main catalyst for them having success. It is mind-boggling to me about what the Cowboys are doing. And I get it. Dak is leading the league in passing yards. That's not the formula for the Dallas Cowboys to win. So their X, their X factor is Zeke because they need to go back to that. And we can have all of the conversations we want to have about whether Dak should be paid, if he's played well. Yes, by all measures, Dak has played well. But the Cowboys play well when Zeke Elliott is rolling. Mm -hmm. They are better on defense when they're running the football. They're better on offense when they're running the football. It galvanizes the team. It changes the environment around the Dallas Cowboys when they are having success on the ground. My problem long for this season has been that when you get into these games and you have zero wins against winning opponents, not one of those games did Zeke Elliott become the focal point of trying to win them. And that's a big issue for Dallas and if, where they stand right now. Hey, big fella, if, if Bill Belichick were playing the Cowboys in the Super Bowl, don't you think his game plan would be to see, can Dak beat me with his arm? Right? Like if, it, like, I'm if glad Dak, you made it, that point. Yeah, like in the, in the Super Bowl with the Eagles, I keep on bringing up Nick Foles today, but yep. Bill Belichick dared Foles to beat him through the air, stop the run, tempt him, you know, to, to try and throw the ball. And if you can do it, tip your cap. That's what I mean by Dak is the Max. X factor. Someone's going to dare Dak a, to beat him. Can he do it? I have agreed with you about, um, about Dak Prescott on a lot of occasions. And I've agreed with you mainly about coaching in the NFL. You don't think people go into the Baltimore Ravens game knowing they're going to run the ball? 
You don't think people go against the San Francisco 49ers and think that they're not going to run the football? We can make Dak whatever we want to make him because he's shown propensity to have success in all of those areas. But what coaching means is okay. that no matter what you're doing to stop me, I'm going to find a way to get my best player involved. Take the Minnesota Vikings, for instance. Take the Carolina Panthers, for instance. You know damn well people going to stack the box to stop Christian McCaffrey and Dalvin Cook. You know what they still do? They still <laughs> hand Marcus, the ball off to them and figure out a quickly. way to get them Let's in the wrong game. Let me yeah. get in here quickly because I know we isolated uh, Dak and Zeke, but you just brought up coaching. And Jerry Jones was just on 105.3 at the fan. And I want to read the quote from him because now he's defending Jason Garrett. It feels like his tune has changed once again. When asked about him, he says he's the guy for the job. Um, he did not say what Garrett has to do to earn an extension, but he did say, in my opinion, Jason Garrett will be coaching in the NFL next year. In the NFL. Yeah, Thoughts just not for that. the Cowboys. <laughs> just not for the Cowboys. <laughs> Molly, you make a great point. This, this Listen. I, we have had this conversation about quarterbacks. Stephen A. Max and Molly, you've been sitting there while we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. You do not wait to pay guys you're sold on. It doesn't happen in the NFL. I just watched you guys have the conversation about the Eagles and was losing my mind about this conversation and all of the excuses for Carson Wentz. The Philadelphia Eagles paid Carson Wentz because they were a sure bet that he was the guy that could get them to, get them to where they needed to be. If Jason Garrett was going to continue to be the Cowboys coach after this year, he would have an extension. Jerry has not waited on, to, on, on extending Jason Garrett in any other time. This was a proven year. The year is, is a waste because of the situation that they're in. The fortunate part for the Dallas Cowboys right now, and as much as it hurts me to say this, is that the NFC East sucks. That's the well, only well, reason let me say that they're the surviving. Ever. Let me and say it's this. the only reason that Jason Garrett is surviving. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.